alive in over a year so forgive me let's see all right i think we got let's see all right well it's six o'clock and i've been invited to host a tutorial on link by ink and the card I chose is my Silly Goose Accordion card, which is something that people would have recognized as my monkey card from our spring social. Here's the monkey. Right here. But today I wanted to do the Silly Goose card. I really love and adore the stamp set. It's adorable. I did link a file for you guys for a supply list and has little add-ons. I did have to alter it because I messed up on the measurements, but it is all fixed. So hopefully if you need that, you can follow along or just then you have the measurements all to yourself. All right. So first things first, we're going to do our card base. And I'm going to be doing it in Lemon Lolly. My Lemon Lolly. And all you do is cut your card at a full carb sheet at four and a quarter. And then you can actually make two at a time. And just switch up the colors. And I actually do not actually score on my score and cut. I prefer my scoreboard. But that's because my eyeball, when I do it, it's just slightly off. And it's always crooked. So I use my scoreboard. Alright. So your piece should be four and a quarter by eleven. I have a sheet of cardstock, and then you score at two and a half, and yes, I lost my score tool, two and a half, three and three quarters, six and three quarters, and eight and a quarter. Get this out of the way for you. And that's all you need to do is scoring. So this side right here is actually slightly bigger. And this is actually going to be your front. So I flipped my card base. So what I'm doing is this is going to go like this. And this is called the accordion fold. It's definitely not mine, but I very much enjoyed it. And I'm just doing a nice score with my bone folder. And you're literally going back and forth and back and forth, just like you would an accordion. And honestly, if you flip the other way and you do mess up the sides, it doesn't really hurt that bad. It's fixable and it still makes a pretty card. All right, so for these cards, what I did was I ended up, I'm using lemon lime twist and these are cut at four by four four and three three and a half and four and two and a one quarter and then the dsp is cut at three and three quarters by three and three quarters and then it'll be three and three quarters by three and it should have been actually, yeah. 
yeah, or three and one quarter, three and three quarters by two. You're literally just going down a quarter an inch when you're matting. And I did mess up my white. This is where I had to fix it. It's three and a half by three and three and a half by one and three quarters. And then a scrap for the circle and a scrap for a tag. Oops, my computer went blank. I am really not used to doing this, so I very much apologize. There, go. And a half by one and three quarters, and then nice a scrap for the I circle and a scrap for a tag. So this Oops. is actually Oops. retired cardstock that I use to actually I am really make. I'm not used to doing this, so I very much apologize. Oh, hold on, that there. should not. Go. And a half by one and there. So there's that. And I actually used my retired cardstock to give me, so I could braid it and actually keep it, and use it as just a little memory one. And I plan on doing that with all the fun folds that I go through. Seeing how we had a color refresh, I have a lot of retired paper. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere put my white pieces aside I'm going to adhere my DSP and this is bright and beautiful and I adore this DSP because it has all the new in color core or the core colors so it's if you're gonna update everything it has a little something for every color and it's not really specific for anything and there's some muted back tones and stuff like that we're gonna go like this. Center at the nice eyeball it right over there. And I chose the little stripey side because it has a lot of green on there already. I didn't want it to blend too much. I really like this paper, it's so happy. And it doesn't necessarily have to go with birthdays or anything. I just love it. There and this one's not gonna matter. I actually brought two packs of this bright and beautiful paper, and I've already gone through one. <laughs> All right, mm, that is not centered. Come on, it's centered. And this is why I like my Tombow glue, it gives me forgiveness. I need forgiveness in my life. <laughs> All right, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to adhere these. So what you're going to do is make sure they're all lined up at that four side. So they're all straight. So I'm going to actually, instead of using this, this gives, we're only putting a little bit of glue and only on the one side, or you're gonna glue your card together and that's gonna stink. So all you're doing is literally going like this and putting it as that quarter of an inch border right there and I'm going to do the same with this one just a little on the one side remember don't need lots combo holds like a mega thing hello I'm sorry I'm not good at looking at the actual messages I'm trying though this is the first time with my new computer like this too so forgive me and see, we'll get a little peek. And I just try to make sure all of them are lined up with each other. So even if we're a little off, it's off all the way. So it looks good anyway. <laughs> and then we're going to take this lovely little fella. Like so. And this one gets glue all over. Because it's going flat. Like so. Mm -hmm. Nice press. And so we'll get the nice structure of this. And before I start stamping, I wanted to show you that you could do this with literally any DSP that you want. It all looks beautiful and it's all fun. I have a whole bunch of unfinished ones that I have to finish. This is from the Countryside In Suite. Blues. And then of course this. And this will be actually a great card to showcase because we're having our... DSP sale and this one I kind of started 
with my monkeys and the leaves for an online exclusive because I love mixing and matching everything. I don't like to stay in the box. And this daisy, oh, I can't wait to do the daisies. I haven't played with them way enough. There. And another stars, and you can make, mix and match it. But like I said, all different kinds. You got choices galore, but this is a great card to show with the DSP sale coming up June 1st. All right, so on to the fun. All right, so we're gonna go like this. And I used a two and a quarter punch. And I actually took a scrap of my DSP when I was making all my stuff. And I said, well, I'm not gonna cut out another bubble gum. And I used my two favorite currently embossing folders is the Stripes and Sliders because it just gives it just a little extra texture and it's fun. And I also punched out a lemon line twist circle and instead of making it plain on my other one, I sent it through with stripes. So that was kind of fun. So these pieces are gonna be on the front. And then I need a white piece for my gooses. My gooses. All right. And here's the awesome Silly Goose set that I'm so happy carried over. Because it's just adorable. So we're going to need the little goose floating in her little floaty. Because who doesn't want to see a goose floating in a floaty? Oh my gosh. That just makes me smile. I'm going to use Memento Black. Move this stuff out of the way. Ink it up. I think this is my ink tool one. Yeah, it's got my good ink. And then I'm going to put her, and she fits perfectly. And the reason I picked this stamp is because it has a frog in it, and it reminds me of my kiddo. And we are a frog loving house. There we go. There we are. And then I got my shammy. I went through another chamois. It fell apart on me. I've used it so much. So I just keep buying them. I love them. All right. So we're going to stamp that. And now we're going to bring out our fist bumping gooses. Right there. And I'm going to need the one that says Goosebumps. Which... Who as a kid got to read the Goosebumps series? Because I sure did. Oh my gosh. I love it. Goosebumps. See this little one. Little baby one. Ugh. All right. So we're going to put our gooses. Yeah, I'm going to go wide. And then I'm going to ink it this way. I like to do this. Make sure it gets good coverage. So cute! All right, and I'm gonna need the grass too. We're gonna do all the black first. And he does, they just kind of fit. Just kind of fit. I might have cut this a little too small. Nah. They just kind of fit. It's okay. Their tails can be off. I so miss my stamp stamparatus. I still use it, but I learned actually that if you have patience and hold it with the same amount of pressure, even pressure, the black will absorb. You just have to be a little more patient. It's okay, Debbie. I know. You'll come back. And then I'm going to put the goosebumps right here. It's not really even, but I'm not worried about it. Yeah. Goosebumps. And then I'm going to put that aside for now. And I'm going to say, I'm here for you. This is definitely for a friend that... This card's definitely for a friend that needs a little pick-me-up. A smile from their friend. That's why I like this one. It's so bright and happy. And I want them to know I'm here for you. And that's crooked. Nope. Flip the sides. That's better. Okay, that makes me happy. 
and clean off my stamps real quick. I actually kind of like cutting it in four. Oh. And I got a thing, and we were talking about it, and I had a class yesterday, and we are bringing up Paper Pumpkin. And you know how we say it's all-inclusive, but it's really not. Because we don't get... The first one does come with a block, and it comes with everything you need, but it does not come with a cleaner. So I figured that we could buy them. We could buy the Scrubby, cut it in four, and send it as a gift for first-time customers. And they might actually buy a whole one. But that's just an option, just a thought that's going through my head. So that is all I need of my Memento Black. All right. Lemon Lime Twist. Because who doesn't like? I actually really like Lemon Lime Twist. I really enjoyed the color refresh because as a painter, it's like getting brand new paints. It's exciting. It's happy. I don't know. I just enjoy it. So I'm going to put the grass going on here. Just to make it happy looking. Do, do, do. And it's supposed to be a comical card, so it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just giving it the illusion that we got grass going on here. Okay. Do, 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 do. A little bit. And I'll be bringing that out again after I'm done coloring. I'm missing one more. Missing my greeting, silly me. So I just took a piece of scrap. And I want the, you've got a friend in me. This reminds me of some high school. Something, I don't know. Reminds me of a song. You've got a friend in me. Yeah, I can't sing. I'm not going to do that to you guys. Er yeah, we're good. That makes me happy. Happy panda. Alright. Now I got my stamping done. Now I can put my inks away for that. Alright, so you can leave this as is. Or you can add something if you want. I left it blank because I wanted it for where I was going to write it. My little message. And I like the littler space, because sometimes just a little note is needed. All right, and then this is gonna, and then you can fold this out flat. And all you're gonna do is layer that on, like so. All right, so I want to do, Let's see. Dark Lemon Molly for my spots. An alcohol blend. Use whatever you got. It's up to you. I just really love my blends. I don't know what I do without them. I cry. They just make me happy. And the DSP's got so many colors in it. It really doesn't matter which colors are. And I'm going to do Dark Lemon Line Twist. But you can do any color you want. These definitely are my favorite little combinations with these colors. They're fun. I've been having a lot of fun with the new colors. I don't know about everybody else. Do, 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 do. I'm not using the brush tip. I'm using my little... My regular tip. Just trying to be very careful not to go over my circles. It's not going to be perfect. Alright, and this is where I had fun, and another one of my favorite, I never got to play with this because I'm quite new, is Lost Lagoon, and that is so my color, my frog. <laughs> Little frog. I'm going to name him Herman, because he's fun. My kids going to be like, you can't name anything. Herman and Sally, sitting on a little thing. Why not? And like I said, I just love pulling out 
This is just berry brush, but you really can color anything you want. I just wanted to be very happy. That's all my goal was, is just happy colors. And I think that's such a pretty pink. And then I use bubble bath. And then I'll bring back my Lost Lagoon. It really is one of my favorite new blue-greens. I don't know. I just like it for greenery. It's very pretty. All right. I'm going to take that Larmin Lolly. And I'm going to color this right here. Doot, doot. And I want to make sure I want to color that in a little bit more. And then I did... Little Scooby. Sorry if this is boring the crap out of you. And then Azure Afternoon. Sounds French. It's a quick coloring job. There's no shading. They're small. Small and happy. And then we got ourselves my dark pumpkin pie. I made that for the feet. Hey, mm her. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got a little outside line, it's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna restamp that out a little bit. All right. That's it of my pretty things. And now I'm actually going to, with my blending brushes, we're going to do Misty Moonlight. I'm so happy that made it into our regular. So pretty. And all I'm doing is giving it the accent of water. Like so. And if you guys were wondering, I have a whole basket full of better different ones. And I actually tried everything from Amazon to not stamping out to everything. And I still like ours better. They are worth the money. Whoops. All right. Lemon Lime Twist. I really want one for each and every color, but I think I'm going to go broke. <laughs> Make sure that it doesn't have anything icky on it. And then we're going to do our green. I pad off. Oops. I missed feet. I missed some feet. Oh, no. Poor goose. There we go. All right. So what I'm going to do is start dark at the bottom. And then I'm actually going to go up past their feet, so it looks like they're on grass, a grassy hill or whatever. Eh, I want a little bit darker, because why not? Give it a little texture. There you go. And I got a little stuff on it, it's alright. That's what I get for touching it. That's alright, I'll put a gem or something in there. Alright, so now we're going to... Put some glue on there. And I have to say, I absolutely adore how fast our inks dry. There's like no waiting. It's like instant gratification. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna center this bad boy on the second layer. Hmm. Oh well. Eh, I'll fix it with something. All right, so. I'm going to take this, and I did this just to give it a little bit of, um, just interest, I guess. There's really no rhyme or reason. And this one reminds me of, like, the ticket. And I love this punch because it doesn't matter how small, it'll get that detail in there for you. And I'm actually going to say, 
I'm going to just take a pair of scissors and trim it because it's going to get cut. It doesn't matter. But I love these pick a punch kind of tools, give you options. And boop. You may like it. It's just a little bit of interest. Some people would never notice, but you know. Uh, I don't like how dark that one is. So I'm going to actually restamp that on the other side because I'm just not happy with it. There's a little less pressure on there. See, that looks a lot better. I love that paper has two sides. You can take your snips or you cannot, you know, it's up to you. I wasn't, it's just, you can use it for scraps because I use these scraps for everything. I actually saved my scraps in a half of a paper pumpkin box for my white and my very vanilla. So I have them. Let's see, I think I'm going to cut it just because, just because. But I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. You know all those little scraps you get when you're cutting and making the card bases and the inserts and all that fun jazz? I actually use my paper pumpkin box and just stick all the scraps in there. So when you need them, they're there. And that way they're not getting wasted. I hate wasting. I really do. Alrighty then. So, my little lemon lime. Ooh, like I said. And we're going to go like that. And I am going to pop this up on dimensionals. Do, 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 do. And I off-centered it. I wanted to make it like the paper. I really like this paper. Alright, let's see. And we'll make it... See, they're all different. I like it right about here. Oh, that's so cute. So cute. I gotta show you guys what my kid did with the moths, the host moths that she loves moths. So they, uh, they actually made them to hang up, cut out, and then hang up on their wall. I love that my kid sometimes stamps with me. I feel loved. So I wanted, so my, uh, my first example was bubble bath, because I really enjoy all these new colors. And all I'm doing is just changing the way it is sitting. And these are the only dimensionals I really used on the whole thing because it's a bulkier card. Didn't want too much. All right, Jer. Look at how cute. And you can make sure it goes under the circle. You can do whatever you want. And of course, what would a card be without something kind of gems? So... Let's see, we got all pretty colors. I'm gonna use these because I like the yellow and the blue. Take my handy take a pick tool. And this will actually go in a normal envelope. No special envelope needed. And I did make sure I put a yellow one right there on top of those little goosebumps over there but i am i believe going to sit there and just kind of take away the little boo-boo i made it happens oops And I left the other part just the way it is. But there it is. My Silly Goose Fun Fold. And this fold can go with any DSP, any colors, anything you want. It's just fun. And it's a showcase card. So it sits on top of somebody's mantle. 
or it sits on somebody's desk and it stands up and it's fun. And if you need lots more to write, like even if you were doing it for a bunch of people to um, sign and give to somebody, you could put white on the back here and then they could write or you can even put more sentiments on there if you want. Like I said, creativity, it is your own. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, please reach out. Um, you guys have a great night. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.